Well, as promised, uh, we're gonna do an interview today with Russell Rainbow, famous cartoon artist and our in-house painter. We both filled up a, a Whaley Lager beer here. Cheers. Let's take a sip and get started. So people ask me, how did Brewport become Brewport? And I tell them a very large amount of it, it visually, is your artwork. And I know that you got to know Bruce and John Barrett and did a little work with Jack Barrett, who I've known since a child. Well, Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I did a lot of work with Jack, actually. Um, I started, well, to get into billboards and things like that, I first started painting them in Dallas, Texas. I had I left, I, yeah, I had uh, went to School of Visual Arts in New York, uh, studied fine art. Uh, I had a real interest in classical as well as modern art. And when I got out, I had the usual difficulties of, like, finding myself. Uh, moved down to Austin, then to Dallas, where my brother lives, and I got into painting billboards there, really large scale. I guess that part of uh, just the fine art training and an interest in large scale. So as the figurative work began to develop, I decided to come back to the Northeast. I was from, used to living in New York, and New Haven was just an excellent place to come to, so that's where I ended up. Got a job at Barrett's um, from there, you know, from Dallas. Um, became their lead painter. And I was out on the billboards, 100 feet in the air off a rope and scaffold uh, most of the time. And I started liking to paint large scale mural work like in uh, brute work. Like we have both inside and outside. Right, right. Now the one thing that I found fascinating when we first met is, do you still listen to speed metal to calm you down? <laughs> because you're what I think is known as a fast painter, mm -hmm. someone who does intricate work rapidly. So do you still do that? Yeah, yeah, I'm still a bit of a metal head. I, I listen to, uh, I've upgraded a bit to uh, Linkin Park and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, some other groups. But, uh, you know, Biscuit. So that, that's the start out. By the time I get to the detail though, I'm back down to Chopin. Oh, all right. So I, I transition through the music back down. When I get into the detail, I have to calm it down. So that's a true artist. You start with the, the broad strokes and you get you know more and more fine. Right, right. It gets big it starts big and like in a case here, in a billboard, I would just do the first layer maybe, the first run, and leave it because billboards are gigantic, but you see them about this big you go by. So you don't have to do that detail. But out here, people get right up to it. Right so close. Yeah, yeah, you have to add nuance and, and flavor to that. So if you haven't been to Brewport recently, uh, we are creating a brand new mural on the front of our building. There's two reasons for it. One is our fifth anniversary is coming up, but we wanted to give the building a little bit of a facelift. And the second, and probably more importantly, is people can't find our front door. <laughs> There's a giant sign that says, welcome to Brewport, and that's not good enough. So what Russell and I devised is an idea to paint something that's gonna draw your eyes to it. Can you explain that three-dimensional way that you're putting this together? Right, well I want to create the illusion where you're walking through the door and there's two columns on either side with branches over the top, which as we discussed would be hops, and then the logo Brewport would sort of jump out from that, so it creates a 3D effect as if you're walking into a columned building. So it, I, I, it's sort of me getting to do a little more eye candy in terms of art, making things a little more 3D as I've gotten uh, rather skilled in some senses. Here's a shot like of the Batman uh, painting that I did. That's actually eight foot, and there was a great sense of depth to this, and I wanted to bring that to something like group work where you get this volume, where you get this sense of illusion when you walk into a, a grand palace, because in some sense of what. So I'm absolutely fascinated by how you paint, and you've, been, you've migrated towards comics, and one of the pieces you did, this is five years ago, four years ago? Yeah, it's about five years ago. So there's a great story behind this. Uh, we're gonna show you a large billboard that uh, Russell, Russell painted a little while ago, but uh, when he painted it and was at signing them at a Comic-Con, the guys from Marvel came up to you, right? And right. asked you to do a painting of Stan Lee. Right. How long yeah. did it take you to do this painting live in front of people? Well, I, I painted that more in the studio. Oh, you honestly. did? Right, yeah, oh, right. yeah, that was in the studio painting. Uh, Roy Thomas had uh, talked to me when I first did the big uh, comic book bureau, and here's an example of it, it was in the billboard shop right before the billboards turned into print. And so this mural had about 160 characters. The original is 20 feet high and 60 feet long. 
And Roy Thomas, who's the second editor after Stan, ran that in Alter Ego, the big world sort of like, uh, what you call it, fan magazine. It talks about collecting and about the different writers and artists. He gave a uh, four page uh, spread with that and details about the construction and things. And then afterwards, we knew Stan was sort of getting older. And this is right before he died. Uh, I painted Stan Lee with some of the characters that he had invented. Uh, Stan saw the painting, but it was a bit of a distance. Uh, I did get to meet Stan a few times, um, but I'm friends with Roy. Oh, really? Well, that's yeah. pretty cool. I know when you were in the Providence Comic Con, uh, uh, John Ratzenberger was there signing things because he does a lot with uh, Star Wars. Right. And actually, because of that meeting, uh, John Ratzenberger came here for pizza, and his wife comes here regularly. Excellent. They only live in Milford. Wow. So if, yeah. if you guys don't know, John Ratzenberger, who's best known from Cheers, uh, but does a lot of voiceovers, including the pig from Toy Story. He grew up in Bridgeport, and he does support local, and he's been in here a few times. Uh, but getting back to your your comic work, um, again, you're, you're doing your own comic book right now, too. Well, I've started on things. Uh, they're very large projects, so it will take time for this to come out. I have this, and this tendency to paint on super large scale. And I have done black and white works and some color works. You'll need help turning the pages of this comic book? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, the concept. I Actually, I'm not going to tell the concept. Yeah, someone might not. steal it from me. But so, it's, it's large, and it's the whole book is eight foot high, every page. I think that all of your work is very dramatic. I mean, I think there's no better example than uh, the Joker here. Now, if you uh, are interested in Russell's work, you can go to Russell Rainbolt on Facebook. And Russell it's Russ, Russ Rainbolt. Russ. Yeah, R-U-S-S. -S. Right. R-A-I-N-B-O-L-T. Russ, Russ Rainbolt on Facebook and also right. RussRainbolt.com. Mm -hmm. And check out his work. And on Instagram and Twitter. And Everything. Yeah. It's, it's, I highly recommend that you go check out his work. And uh, it's been amazing to be able to have someone of your quality and, and caliber uh, to be friends with Brewport, with Bruce nice. and John, and we've become friends. And I believe we have built something here that is truly unique. And we have a truly family-friendly restaurant and brewery, and it's the the minutest detail that makes Brewport unique from every other warehouse restaurant and brewery. Yeah. Um, and when I tell you guys that every nut and bolt in this place was discussed at nauseum, you <laughs> completely understand what that means. And there isn't a single thing in this building that Bruce and John and I and the extended family, which is you and. Chris Danis and a few other people didn't discuss over and over and over. Obsess over. over in yes. Some ways, right? Yes. Our furniture was all specially made for us. Even the picking out of these glasses were something that took forever. But what's really cool is that working with you is that we're allowed to, to have this artwork evolve. And we're going to be doing some extra work on the big mirror on the side of the building as well. You right. want to mention a little of that? Well, there's there's continuation of this. It's more or less, if you sort of categorize it, it looks like four, possibly five murals that are 20 feet high by 30 feet. Um, the next part will be a kitchen. Uh, it's sort of an entrance sit that looks as if you're coming into the building um, that we're working on in detail with older furnishings and things of that nature. Um, that'll be a spin-off. What I want to do is sort of create a series of images and, and motifs that continue around the building also give them a sense of like, artistic uh, fun. That's very cool. It's a lark for me, so that's a lot of the reason I'm here. I, you know, I get to I get to put together these. You get to play. I get to play, and it's, it's I, unique. And you know, as an artist, if it were just a standard sort of situation, I might say oh, I'd rather work on my paintings. But in this case, it's, it's, it's. I think it's very cool. I mean, you know, we've talked before that I very much see myself as an artist. My my medium right. is definitely hops water. Um, and you know you do something that's amazing so a lot of people who have been here before like to get their picture taken in front of the giant flywheel and they frequently stand on the giant rock that's in front of our staircase that rock actually came out of our parking lot where we were digging out a sinkhole and it was so big the rock crusher couldn't crush it and the guys working on the parking lot kept saying to me so what are we gonna do with this rock what are we gonna do with this rock and i said don't worry about it we'll find a place we'll find a place and eventually came with the idea that let's just put it up front and uh, let it be just part of, of the view at Brewport. Now it's where everybody stands and gets their picture taken. So the kitchen side of things that you're gonna be painting is gonna be an old antique, uh, kind of mythical 
brick oven right. going back to the old days of Italy and we hope that this will be a new place for you guys to stand in front of and you could pretend you're making your own brick oven pizza right here. Um, Russ, do you have anything else you want to add or uh, I think can we get back it. to paint? Yeah, I think, you know, the thing is, is there's so much to see now. Uh, you get to come out, uh, take a look. You're welcome to see it in progress if you like and uh, say hello. I couldn't agree more. So I'd just like to say, you know, cheers to all of you. Cheers to Russ. And come out and check out his work as it expands over the next uh, two weeks or so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so again, I'd like to remind you all that go to Facebook. It's Russ Rainbolt or go to russrainbolt.com. And any of these prints, as well as lots of other artwork pieces are available. And he does commission artwork as well as sell copies of these prints. So let's support a local artist, and I think he does great work.